I've noticed something that's very different in my life now that wasn't previously this way. And that is that I am allowing myself to be with, right, to feel the emotions that surface, specifically the negative emotions, the low energy emotions. And it's interesting too because I'm also allowing myself to try to, you know, approach it from a standpoint that is neutral, right? Like, instead of looking at them as negative emotions, just looking at them as emotions. And I sit with this also after, you know, coming to the understanding that I um, was looking at the world in a way that was very black and white, right? The world is good or the world is bad. You know, the world is neither, right? So thinking in those terms can also affect other things, like emotions, right? Are emotions really negative? Some emotions I would look at as negative are like, you know, uh, shame, guilt, fear, anger, right? Considerably low energy, of course. You know, they, they vibrate on a much lower base, right? However, if you look at something as negative, you're going to approach it, well, let me speak from my standpoint. If I look at something as negative, or if I perceive something as negative, there's a decent chance that I might approach it differently than something that I would perceive as positive, right? You don't question the person that's happy. Well, I have noticed that people that are unhappy tend to question people that are happy and ask them why they're happy. But people that are unhappy, you know, it kind of seems to just, like, go, like, without saying, right? But if you perceive an emotion as negative, you're probably going to want to, speaking from my standpoint, um, previously, <laughs> I'll do it this way, Previously, when I perceived an emotion as negative, I wanted to push it out, right? This is also something that I learned very early on in my life. Anger? No. Anger is bad. Shame and guilt? We don't feel that stuff. That stuff's bad, right? Um, fear? You can't show... I, I, I couldn't show... <laughs> it's funny how, how often I find myself bringing myself back to I statements rather than, you know, putting it for other people. Um, fear? I couldn't show that I was afraid because that was seen as weak, and I didn't want to be seen as weak, right? However, when you take the label off, right, when you take the... When I... <laughs> when I take the... Um, the negative label off and realize that they're just emotions, that they're neither good nor bad, just allowing myself to feel them. It really transforms the dynamic and the experience altogether. And I've noticed that that's very important to do because when I do that, it allows me to just feel, right? And not just feel, but also not judge right? It can be very easy in my experiences to get lost in everything and to kind of like run away more easily when I judge, right? Okay, what's there? Shame. Okay, just sit with the shame. It's uncomfortable though. That's okay. I don't like it. That's okay. Just allow yourself to be with it. Don't judge it. Soon enough, maybe I will find a reason as to why I'm feeling shame, right? Where the shame is coming from. Just being with it. I think that it's important to do the best that I can to get beyond the, the, you know, the labels of good and bad because that can really hinder the experience. You know, I have previously seen the world as good or bad, right? The world is neither. Perhaps emotions are the same way. 
perhaps emotions are neither good nor bad, right? Some people would say, shame is bad. Happiness is good. Maybe it's just not true. Yeah, you feel good when you're happy. Cool. You feel bad when you feel shame. Okay, cool. Does that really make the emotions good or bad, though? And that's what I'm asking myself. And I think that it's important to be asking this question or these questions because it allows me to more thoroughly, consciously, and presently work through everything.